hi everybody so if you are a mid senior and you are feeling stuck in your workplace then today's episode will be for you how to demonstrate your value so this is in the series of uh, making a personal branding uh, for ourselves at the workplace and uh, to the world at large and uh, this is about how to find an engaging story and uh, today's will be how to enhance how to demonstrate your values what do we do for this kind of value that we are thinking of bringing so the there are three steps to this if you are here sideline and feeling a uh, kind of not uh, appreciated at workplace or something if you use linkedin for this purpose then you can have a very 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 easy way to show and demonstrate your value to the world what do you do the first thing is engage and optimize your profile picture how do you do that you can uh have a very 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 significant kind of very uh, high resolution picture for yourself and uh, the banner should show your dream my dream is a cleaner calmer and greener glow and uh, your dream should be showing something that impossible because dreams are impossible but goals are not goals have to be very smart so your banner should show about that impossible dream that scares you and your profile picture should be high in uh, intensive uh, high intensity high resolution and uh, your uh, about picture the summary of your profile has to be put there about your experience and everything uh, experience details have to be mentioned your skills and endorsements have to be there the recommendations that you have received during your linkedin uh, tenure has to be there if you engage with lot of people on day to day basis then they will be there engaging with your content and they will give recommendation if they do not give their on their own then what you can do is approach them and ask them to endorse you the second is engage actively in the platform in the linkedin how you can do is by regular posting by commenting on other people's uh, post you can join groups and learn a lot of things following influencers and doing linkedin live or engaging in linkedin live how um, the easiest thing out of this is what i do is i uh, repost uh, other people's comments which is very very easy there uh, anything you see or read you ha- you can go through some kind of opinion inside your mind right if that is so then you can <clears throat> write down those thoughts and repost them this can be done uh, for in in two ways not two ways at one go you can have two things you can post as a comment and then you can use those comment to repost linkedin will tell you suggest you how to repost so comment and appreciate the other person's work repost and still appreciate the other person's work with your thoughts so it will be great in establishing comment establishing relationship with great influencers you can do that and you can post of course articles you can post uh, articles uh, here 
and uh, other things are there live also you can go but those are difficult things as far as a working professional is concerned but unless you are very passionate i don't say it is impossible but it is very time consuming and whatever you do you have to do regularly consistently because that is what people would like so if you do a live please do lives every now and then and definitely on the day that you have promised them to come on live and uh, post everybody would uh, expect you to do two or three post repost every day because people are reading you the third thing is to leverage linkedin features there are lot of things that you can learn for free and even if you go through 10 post every day you would learn a lot at least you can see other companies what they are doing other people who are suggested into your profile those things are learning right you are getting to know people without spending anything you just sitting there working and just you go to your linkedin profile and see all these things happening analytics will tell you as to how your linkedin page or profile is doing and uh, this week consistently i have been doing 20000 views every week so that is very less compared to very very influential uh, influencers very huge influencers but still i am doing it consistently that is within my time whatever time is there then you can publish articles one in a day so if you want you can publish once in a month that is up to you but you know articles not many people read what i do is i post small small experiential stories or whatever my thoughts are so every day we think something right we think a lot of things can we not just write down all those things so that will be um, those things and then you you can use hashtags for uh, being being able to be searched so that will be the thing and utilize in mail some credits are free for every month to approach to people who are huge influencers they don't even um, come when you uh, like to add them so in mail everybody is there and you can at, uh, send a friend request to them then profile updates keep on doing it regularly so that everybody knows about you and what you are doing and how you are progressing people are watching you for sure you know so these are few of the tools and tips with which without spending anything without learning anything new you can just reach out to people in a big way because your thoughts are shown in the linkedin profile whatever you write everybody is reading and if you have applied somewhere they will search for your facebook and linkedin profile and if you have a rich linkedin profile definitely and if you have rich facebook profile also people will definitely definitely going to follow you and they are going to appreciate you and on the basis of that they will also evaluate you you know so if and this is a sure short way of gaining significance that is what we are aiming for right and that is why we are here listening to this podcast or this uh, this live session because we are looking for ways to achieve significance isn't it that so if that is so it will be great it will be great to have you here thank you sabina for being here in the show if you are if you have any questions then we can take it harpreet thank you for being here if you have any questions that will be great for me to answer you otherwise you can post questions which i can uh, take up later on thank you for being here and this is for everybody if you have learned something then it will be great if you can comment on that and uh, thank you for watching